So I need to seal these beads now. Rain is imminent. I'm just in the process of putting my base coat on the bead so that can start to dry and then I'll continue with the rest of the wood now. So with a white spirit on your rag, your gun, your nozzle just wants to fine cut on it, not too much. Well, this is what I'll be using, which is a polymer sealer, which will be good against the stain. So into the bead, and I want to get it down the back. Try and get it in one general smooth flow. And if you need to, you rag, just keep wetting your finger with the white spirit and just wipe it back. sure that you get into those joints there. So that's it, it's in. You just see it there. Again, one straight movement all the way down. might not need to wipe back all the time generally that's it okay so joints anywhere where there's gaps when you're doing this job they won't fill in Oh, I've just had a shower of rain you see where I'm drying the sill off there that's just wet from the rain it's just caught this edge drying off back that way I'll show you how I'm going to dry that I need to get that coated before it showers again so take the nozzle out my vacuum put it on to blow and then just speed the process up.
quite warm that is from the motor and it's better than a heat gun because it won't scorch the wood but well, that's dry so what I can do is I'll leave it another 10 minutes and I'll start doing these verticals finish these off first I'll just whiz that in uh, so that's that now coated up if it rains now it will probably pit it but it's waterproof and it's going to have another two coats anyway so that'll do me I've waterproofed it oh, I've just got the rain hitting it now that will definitely pit it but what it means is tomorrow morning it'll be dry overnight so when I get here first thing in the morning I've got a head start because that's waterproof any water sat I can wipe it off with a cloth and then right I can carry on on this side I sealed this a couple of days ago you see there so now what I will do is just some fine sandpaper just a light rub onto the wood and I'll be giving it my final two coats that'll help protect that a lot better Ideally, you can take the beads off, but the chances are with these being on that long, they'll split when they come off, which means replacing it, which is a lot more work. But as for maintenance, that'll be good. When you put your sealant in against the bead, what you may find is if you've done any wiping back, you get slight residue sitting up the side don't worry not a problem just take some methylated spirits wet your cloth and give it a wipe and onto your cloth and not really going onto the bead just your finger there just give it a wipe and with a fresh cloth just buff the window up 